The introduction of containers and container orchestration has made it easier to deploy and update applications. Likewise, the growing popularity of database cloud service offerings has also simplified the development and deployment of stateful applications. However, developers often access these database services in many different ways, often dealing with a myriad of credentials, and this can make it rather difficult for cluster administrators to maintain a comprehensive overview and understanding of all the various database offerings in use. Hi. I'm Jeremy Airy, an engineer in Red Hat's application ecosystem development team, and today I'd like to share a bit with you about Red Hat OpenShift Database Access, our newest cloud service offering that makes it easier for administrators to provision and manage access to multiple third-party database services. Red Hat OpenShift Database Access is currently available via two OpenShift cloud services, OpenShift Dedicated and OpenShift Service on AWS. Initially, our service supports three database vendor offerings, MongoDB Atlas, a popular cloud database service, Crunchy Bridge by Crunchy Data, which provides a managed PostgreSQL cloud service, and CockroachDB Cloud, a distributed SQL database service. As a prerequisite, administrators need to complete a few steps on the chosen provider's platform. In this case, we'll demonstrate using MongoDB Atlas, and we'll begin by setting up our organization's projects and permissions. Red Hat is providing an access service. However, the database instances themselves reside on the respective provider's cloud infrastructure. Given that, we'll need access to those resources. Our first step is to establish our teams and API access. Let's take a look at an example organization within Atlas. This organization, called AppInch, consists of several projects. Currently, we're taking a closer look at project one. Within this project, we can find one cluster that will be of particular interest to us later, named DBAS Cluster 1. If we go ahead and take a peek at the collections inside this instance, we'll see a pre-established data set ready for use by an application, but let's come back to that later. Before we dive in, let's quickly switch over to the Red Hat OpenShift Hybrid Console and take a look at where we enabled OpenShift Database Access Service. In this case, intended to run as a service on an OpenShift dedicated cluster. As a cloud service offered by Red Hat, we provide the SRE resources and day-to-day -day management of the Kubernetes application platform so you can focus on enabling your developers. As seen here, we've already leveraged the add-on tab to add OpenShift database access to our cluster. Back over on the cluster, once installed, we can see that our operator takes care of a few dependencies it requires at that level as well. Note that we have operators for each provider. Here we see CockroachDB, Crunchy Bridge, MongoDB Atlas, as well as the service binding operator, which will help with setting up our connectivity when we're ready for that step in the developer workflow later. With all of our operator dependencies in place, we can begin the instance discovery process. OpenShift Database Access provides the cluster administrator with a consolidated view of all the connected database services that are available on their cluster, including details like which instances are already in use, what user has requested that connectivity, and in what project it has occurred. Let's start our discovery process by using one of the actions available to us here inside of the summary view to create a provider account resource. Here, we select the provider which we wish to target, in our case, MongoDB Atlas, and supply the credentials associated with our account. After receiving the create successful status message, we get back a list of instances associated with those credentials. Back over in the summary view, as with MongoDB, we can also create a provider account for Crunchy Bridge and discover what Postgres instances we have on their platform as well. Notice that the sets of credentials required for each provider may vary. Here, with the Crunchy Bridge provider, we need only two values, the public and private API key and secret. With that now complete, let's swap back over to summary view and take a look at the comprehensive list of instances available via both provider accounts, which we've now set up. With those in place, we have now as administrators, enabled our developers to create trial database instances via any of our various providers, as well as establish connectivity with their applications from within their various projects. Once a database vendor provider account is added, the developer can access or create a new instance from the connected database tile. I hope this helps show how you, as an administrator, can use Red Hat OpenShift database access to bring a low-touch administrative experience to provisioning and managing access of external database cloud services. 
You can check out our companion video for application developers, which shows how they can simplify access through a drag and drop UI to connect their applications to third party database vendor instances, or give it a try yourself at red.ht slash dbaccess. Thank you.